Ukraine's remarkable fight for freedom and democracy brought Washington to a standstill. The exhaustion and pain of being a wartime leader clear upon his face, Volodymyr Zelensky thanked Americans for what he desperately hopes will be continued reinforcement. Against all odds and doom and gloom scenarios, Ukraine didn't fall. Ukraine is alive and kicking. He fought back tears as he saw fellow Ukrainians watching from the balcony. The historic nature of this moment is already being compared to Winston Churchill's 1941 visit, where he shored up support for Allied forces fighting the Second World War. Imagery Maybe Zelensky invoked as he made his case. Your money is not charity. It's an investment in the global security and democracy that we handle in the most responsible way. By all measures, this trip is a stunning achievement. Considering Ukraine was expected to fall within weeks of Russia's invasion, few would have predicted 10 months later the world would witness a scene like this. President Zelensky, the United States stands with the brave people in Ukraine. We stand with you and you've been a great leader. President Joe way. Biden announced the U.S. Yeah, will supply Ukraine through. with a Patriot missile defense system, part of a new $1.8 billion weapons package. While grateful for the contribution, Zelensky admitted he's going to push for more. Can we make a long story short and give Ukraine all capabilities it needs? His answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Joking aside, Biden pledged additional support, though he warned the U.S. and allies have limits and do not want to escalate the crisis. They're not looking to go to war with Russia. They're not looking for a third world war. So, Katie, this visit clearly sends a message to Moscow. Yes, the U.S. and Ukraine want to show Vladimir Putin that the alliance is strong. They also need to sell some Republican lawmakers on the worthiness of this cause. Part of the Trump base thinks this is a waste. Donald Trump Jr. called Zelensky an ungrateful international welfare queen. With Republicans taking control of the House, both Zelensky and Biden hope this speech will resonate so they can keep passing bills with financial support. Thanks, Katie Simpson in Washington tonight.